Now, let's proceed. So, the first part of the immune system is for the nonspecific defenses. So, innate immunity or defenses are nonspecific and act early. So, this includes many external and internal components. So, this arm of the immune system is nonspecific because it acts against any type of invader. First, we have the barriers to entry. So, these barriers for entry, we have external barriers which form now the first line of defense. So, physical barriers block now the pathogens and foreign substances from entering our body. So, our skin, which has many functions, for example, the calluses are thick, scaly accumulations that protect the skin from disease-causing organisms, and of course, abrasions. So, the body's other physical barriers include the mucus that traps inhaled dust particles in the nose, wax in our ears, the lysozymes in tears that wash now the irritants, uh, from the eyes and contain microbial substances and the cilia that sweeps now the bacteria out of our respiratory system and the strong acid of course which destroys now most of the microbes that reaches our stomach. So another one, a large collection of defensive cells and molecules awaits any microbes that manages to breach now the uh, body's external defenses. So inflammation is an immediate um, localized reaction to an injury or to any pathogen that breaches now the body's barrier. So in this diagram presented here, immediately after a splinter or a sharp um, object, process now the skin chemicals released from damaged cells initiate now the inflammatory response so what are the mechanisms in an inflammatory response so of course the damaged cells trigger now mast cells to release histamines so histamine causes now the blood vessels to dilate or to open and become more permeable so white blood cells move into the damaged area and the white blood cells will engulf now and destroy bacteria and of course the damaged cells so inflammation will then follow so inflammation is characterized by fever redness swelling pain and loss of function in the infected area so inflammation now can kill or can help kill the pathogen so another reaction would be a fever so in fever um, it tends to produce heat so this heat now, um, they may kill the bacteria or viruses or make them stop from um, replicating, for example. So we also have the complement system. So many antimicrobial um, biochemicals participate in the innate defenses. So we have the complement system. So it is a group of about 20 plasma proteins. So the word complement enhances or complements our immunity. So for example, the complement proteins help to destroy pathogens in our body. So when activated, some trigger a chain reaction that punctures a bacterial cell membrane. The natural killer cells, so these natural killer cells or in NK cells can distinguish between self and non-self proteins and can cause virus infected cells to undergo apoptosis or um, cell death. So, the natural killer cells destroy cancerous or virus-infected cells. 